Hello, drawing Kenas. I hope I pronounce your username right because I'm very bad at pronouncing usernames. This is my entry into your contest uh, about um, speaking about a book that's changed one's life. And I felt very strongly about your contest because I have a book that really has changed everything about my life. Without this book, my um, I would not be here in this situation. I would not be able to live on my own. And it has made an enormous impact for me. So, um, let me start by giving you some context. I have Asperger's Syndrome. Uh, Asperger's is a form of um, high-functioning autism. And um, when I was 16 years old, I was completely dependent on my mother. I never left the house, not without either my mother, my grandparents, or a personal assistant uh, helping me. So I hardly ever even went into the next town, which is uh, 15 minutes away, without someone there. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, when I um, my intelligence is completely normal, I was as dependent on my mother as a four-year-old. She couldn't leave the house. She couldn't do anything without my grandparents watching me because I needed her help 24/7. I needed her to be there. I couldn't do anything for myself and I had absolutely no desire to be independent. Then things changed very much for me when I, as a 16 year old, got this book. Vampire the Masquerade 2nd edition by White Wolf Game Studios. I got this as a birthday gift when I was 16. And well, you can't play a role playing game alone. This is a role playing game book. It's not an occult book and it's not a, a novella, so it might be a little bit different from the other entries you get. It is it, it's a book that contains a game. Um I'm not really sure if you know what a role playing game is. Um it's sort of a form of, um, if you combine a board game with freestyle theater, you'll get something like that. Think um, Dungeons and Dragons, but with vampires. Yeah. And the thing about role-playing games is that you need someone to play with. And I didn't have too much of a social life, as you can imagine, so uh, I went online and joined a chat room where I met other people that played the vampire and among those people I met a boy and he invited me out for a date and I said yes now I had had no interest in boys up until this point I had never been on a date and hardly ever left my home and suddenly I got myself on a bus went into the capital city of Norway, Oslo and went to the movies with this boy and it was a very nice time and it might seem very mundane but for me to actually leave my house by myself and sit on the bus for one and a half hours to a other city and doing all these new things, that was enormous. So yeah, it, it never became anything of that date. It was just one date and we um, really wasn't that um, suitable for one another. 
But a few months later, I met another boy. And he also invited me for a date. And I said yes, and I went into Oslo. And then the problem was that while the date was really nice, I missed my bus home. And yeah, um, one of the things that um, is a difficult with Asperger's is that you get very rigid. You cannot handle, at least most people with Asperger's cannot handle change, uh, sudden events and so on. Like for example, when I was a little girl, our refrigerator broke. And I went ballistic, because the fridge wasn't the same as the new fridge wasn't the same. They actually had to keep the old fridge for me to calm down. And then, um, perhaps even stranger, perhaps even stranger, when um, I got new toys, I had to have a proxy for that toy for a while, because I couldn't handle the change of not having the toy, and then suddenly having it. I had to soften that transition by having a proxy for it for a while. So yeah, it was pretty rigid. And normally I would have freaked out at the change of plan, not only were in a different city, I had only been alone in Oslo twice, but suddenly have to deal with not getting home that evening. And however, I knew that if things had gone very badly, my mother wouldn't have allowed me to go and see other people that played Vampire Masquerade anymore. So I managed to control myself. My date was very sweet, he uh, got his parents to put me up for the night in his sister's room and I took the bus home in the morning and it was so amazing and it was such a milestone for me because suddenly I, c I had managed to handle an unexpected situation and that just meant so much to me. It just changed my life. So, yeah. And I didn't uh, have a relationship with this boy either. But we became friends and we are still friends. So, um, then after a while there was a role-playing game convention. And a role-playing game convention is typically for a whole weekend and so was this. It was Arco 14. Yeah. And I decided to go. And I thought my mother would faint when I told her that I wanted to go into Oslo and stay the weekend by myself. And she was so frightened. <laughs> and, uh, but I did. And I played role playing games, and I had a, a, a huge. And it was so amazing. And um, so, um, yeah, that was my first time uh, actually planning to go away from my uh, home for more than a few minutes at a time and actually stay overnight. I've never been to a sleepover. I, uh, we tried once when I was in um, kindergarten and my mother had to come and get to me because <laughs> that I was just not having it. And I managed to stay there the whole weekend, two nights, take care of myself. And I mean up until this point I slept in my mother's room I couldn't even manage to stay in my own room in the night, so yeah. And that also actually changed because of Vampire the Masquerade, because uh, I started playing this game online um, with uh, some of um, with some of my friends. And yeah, when you play a role-playing game online, you write sort of like. It's sort of like um, 
joining together to write a story. And um, then I usually stayed up longer than my mother and I would disturb her if I came into her room. So to be able to stay up and play the game found in this book, I had to uh, sleep in my own room. So yeah, the year I got uh, Vampire the Masquerade, I went from being completely dependent on my mother. Like I said, I was as dependent on her as a four-year-old would be. To being a relatively normal teenage. And late that year I met a third boy and uh, we became a couple. Also because of this role-playing game, because he played too and I met him during in in role-playing chat rooms and we played role-playing games on our first date. So and we are still together and we're going to be married. And yeah. So um, basically, when I was uh, 16 years old, my mother didn't think I would be able to live on my own. She thought that when I grew up, I would have to live in an institution and need help 24/7. But because this book motivated me so much to actually go and face my fears in trying new situations, getting to know new people, trying to be independent. Because I wanted so much to play this game, because this book inspired me so much, I took that leap and now I live in my own apartment. I am to be married. I um, have held two hours a week. And other than that, I manage to take care of myself. So I live a relatively normal life. And of course I still have some problems with Asperger. That's always going to be with me. But so many of those problems I managed to overcome because of this book. It did literally change my life completely. Had I not found this book, I would have been in some institution being held 24-7. Because of this book, I can live a normal life. And I will never stop being thankful to those that made this book for making that possible. I am a normal, productive member of society because of Vampire Masquerade, second edition. Because of this birthday gift. I am the person I am today. So yeah, that was the book I wanted to talk about. I hope you have like enjoyed the video as I enjoy watching the videos you make. Have a great day and blessed be. If I can only get this. Excuse me, I have some problems getting this camera turned on.